Okay. Hi. Are you ready to go on? Yeah. What are you eating? Oh, Jolly Rancher. Do you want one? No, I'm full. Guy Branham. Why is it if you make angry dogs fight, that's a crime? But if we make angry black people fight, it's just boxing <laughs> and football and rap. <laughs> I think there needs to be more federal regulation of reality shows. I personally am very concerned that Rock of Love Bus is going to result in a super strain of gonorrhea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Guy Branham. Oh, hello, audience. How are you? Good to see you, audience. Good to see you. Audience, my name is Guy. Guy is barely a name. The only way my parents could have exerted less effort in naming me would be if they had called me Hey Dude or that one baby who lives here. <laughs> Do you understand my point, audience? My point is that all of my life I wanted a nickname. I never had one until college. In college, they called me the futon <laughs> because I was so good at making sex awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> Now, audience, before we go any further, I need to make something perfectly clear. I am not a rapist. <laughs> but if I were, you, sir, would totally be my type. <laughs> because let's be honest, you're not the cutest guy in the room. But you do look physically weak. <laughs> and if I were to attempt to rape someone, I wouldn't want them to fight back. I couldn't take the rejection. If you resisted, I would just end up in the corner crying about how no man will ever love me. Now, audience. You may have noticed that I am unusually large for a homosexual. <laughs> I am not certain why this is the case. My current working theory is that once my mother realized I was going to be gay, she figured she should just raise the largest one in the county. <laughs> if she's not getting grandchildren out of the deal, she might as well get a blue ribbon. I like you, audience. I like you. Audience, I am 33. Now, what that means, audience, is that this is what I look like. This is what I look like. At this point, me going to the gym is like Paula Abdul checking into rehab. It is a lovely gesture, but no one thinks it's going to work. <laughs> Audience, last week, I took a quiz in Teen People to determine which guy from Twilight is right for me. Now, audience, I am 33, okay? This is not my first quiz in Teen People. I know how these things work, okay? I'm gaming the system. <laughs> Kellen Lutz, the tall blonde vampire, is the right guy for me. I've seen the shirtless jogging photos in Us Weekly, okay? So I take the quiz, score it. Turns out, Taylor Lautner, the Indian werewolf, is the guy for me. Don't cheer. 
Do you understand what this means? What if I don't know who I am? What if I don't know what I want out of life? Am I a comic? Am I a writer? The longest relationship I was ever in was with a guy who played World of Warcraft professionally. I went to law school. What if I don't know what I want out of life and there's no teen people quiz to tell me? This was fun, audience. We should do it again. I